Welcome to episode 134 of Irene Plays. I bet you're saying, wait a minute, the last episode was 132. What happened to 133? Well, we actually have two episode 132 videos. And so this is still episode 134. Let's get started. Well, hello, Irene Smith here. And we are back at the former Lavender House. Getting ready for Thursday. Weeks are going by awfully fast lately. Well, this part you've seen multiple times. I showed you the last time the garden area, which I think came out pretty nicely. So let's go to the second floor now and do a little work in the bedrooms. <clears throat> okay, I rather like this ferns. I know I said that the last time too, but it's true. That door is open because I just used the bed. Seems like I always end up starting this up and it's nighttime in game. And you can't yet um, disable that. So, okay, this is the next bedroom to do. Now, you'll notice that I added some windows. So now the, the big question is, what do we want on the walls? What do we want on the walls? Hmm. What do we want on the walls? Let us take a look at the wallpaper. Now this is going to be, well, I think this is going to be a bedroom for adults or for an older child. This is already a bedroom for young children. And this one is also going to be a bedroom. I may add another window on the side of the house. We'll see about that. This one I showed you has its own bathroom. So maybe this should not be it. I don't know. Let's go to this one and decide what we are going to do here. No, I'm not going to put in an yet another bathroom. I think we have enough bathrooms on this floor. Um, okay, wallpaper. I have to be honest with well maybe maybe panels on the bottom and wallpaper on the top that's an idea let's see let's look at panels kind of like that stained mahogany for a change American walnut I use quite a bit beach no oh I got the hiccups um, stained walnut, European walnut. I like the European walnut, but I use it way too much. Um, let's, the American walnut's not bad. Red cedar. High gloss wooden, dark beach. Sort of like the mahogany. Hmm. American cherry, European ash, oak. Yeah, let's let's consider oak. Let's look at the cut. What a cut do we want? Mm. I kind of like that, but maybe a different, maybe a different color. Let's go for hmm. American Walnut. Gee, I am getting boring with this stuff. Come on, folks. Let's find something new. How about Brazilian Cherry? And, and. 
hand and let's do that for the for a change. Oh, that's kind of like well, yeah. Let's not. Let's do. Maybe that. No rotation. Let's try that. I'm thinking that it might be better to oh come on redo the floor to match this what do you think I wish you could tell me not now but you know not tomorrow but right now I kind of like that Let's see how it's going to look over here though And actually, when it comes right down to it, if we wanted to, we could, um, yeah, sure. If we wanted to, we could say what we want to say. If we wanted to, we could do the floor in that same pattern. Maybe not. But let's do let's redo the floor. Of course, nothing says that it has to be, oh, this is the one. Yeah. But let's make it bigger. I think this is going to look nicer. I mean, considering the rest of the room. This actually is looking good, I think. Hey folks, Allie here. And before we get too far into this video, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, like this video, share it with your friends, and make comments. All those things help other people see this channel. So thank you very much. So the wood matches now with what's on the lower part of the walls. Okay, now I think that, oh, you know what we need to do? We need, and actually this is something I wanted to mention Go back, go to wallpaper. As I said, I'm not sure if it was the other day or a while back, this is the least expensive as far as I can tell. I mean, those are the same. And let's just see out of curiosity 
how much paint is. I want white. Okay, so that's only 112. And I probably could do the whole room with it. On the other hand, 299 is that not that horribly expensive by comparison. And as I said, I think that is the cheapest wallpaper in the game. As far as I can tell. If you can find a, a cheaper one, let me know what it's called. Yeah, these are all a lot more. Anyway, so with this, if we go, well, first of all, we want white for the ceiling. So we'll do that. I may still have some lying around somewhere. I'm not sure. That's so much easier than painting, especially with ceilings. Not so much for the walls, but when you're painting the ceiling, I don't know, I find it very, not just time consuming, but I feel like I'm I keep losing my, orient, the orientation of the character. I think this looks just fine. And yeah, so it's about twice as expensive, but so what? Now let's go out here and just double check and make sure that I did all the other ceilings. If you notice a room that's uh, not got a finished ceiling, make a note in the comments of which room it is. First, second, or third floor and so on. Um, let's go back to this room. We need a something for the top part of the walls, and it's certainly not going to be white. I'm thinking, well, now we're back to the wallpaper. We could do flowers, but actually I want one of the more childlike ones. That's different. It's not childlike, I know. Polka dots, stars. This is children's. And that's children's. Let's go for this one. Let's. make that a dark blue. Make that yellow. looks as good as I thought it would. Oh yeah, no, that really is blue. Because I don't want it to look black. Although I think there was, I'm pretty sure there was a wallpaper in House Flipper 1 that was just like this with a black background. I think it might have come in a couple colors, black and maybe blue or something like that. Yeah, this isn't bad. I kind of like this. just about the time you start moving real quick real quick boy just about the time you get involved and start moving quickly that's when you run out of I kind of like that and we're almost 
almost done. Hmm. Have I said that before? I think I have. be nice if I didn't have to buy another one. How about that? We made it. Okay, now we need, what do we need? We need furniture. We need an overhead light. Yeah, that's a start. I don't think we need this stuff anymore. I kind of like the way this looks. I was considering actually the idea of doing the um, separating like a chair rail, but we don't really need a chair rail in a bedroom, do we? Goodbye wallpaper. Goodbye flooring. Okay, we're done with that part. Now, I'm not going to sell the white-on-white -white stuff, just in case I need it somewhere. I'll sell it later. Yeah, no, I really like this room. I think it came out quite well. Although, somehow, I guess it's just my eyes today. For a second there, it looked like they weren't even. Let's do the overhead light. overhead ceiling lamps yay ceiling lamps this is going to be a <clears throat> more of a child's room so now let's just do this and we will make the background here the shade um, let's make it a pretty dark blue actually can we go, where are the patterns? I guess not. Um, I wanted to pick, all right, let's go. I don't know. I really don't. That's kind of nice, I guess. I'll just go blue. No, thank you. I've been using this one all the time. Don't know why. Don't ask. Now let's wire it up to the light. Yeah, I guess it's fairly centered. Okay, now we need, do we need children's beds? Would have been nice if I could have put that pattern on the wall, on the light. I wonder. guess not. Now, there was a room that had a light that had that kind of a shade, and it had a pattern on it. I don't know how, but I'll find it again, I'm sure. Now, let's do a rug on the floor. After all, we need decorations, we need floor decor. I wish there were some regular rugs instead of all these weird looking things. I'm sorry, that sounds like 
like I just don't like. No, it's not that. It's just that, first of all, I don't like the fringe. Let's go with the same kind of dark blue. change the size. Isn't that nice? Crap. Now let's do the bed. I'll probably end up selling that because it looks miserable there. Let's go to the beds. Should we go for bunk beds in this room? There's this bunk bed, too. What's... No, this one will do, I guess. There are the patterns. Stars. We want yellow for the for the light color. And we want what did you do to me? to me. Why do you keep changing it? Oh, you're annoying today. I want a navy blue background. I want yellow stars. And as soon as I try to define it, I'm obviously doing something wrong, but I don't know what. Oh, wrong color. going to have at least one more um, session with this house anyhow. So, okay, so now we want, where's the colors? There we go. We want the yellow I'll keep this I want to make a darker blue. 
more like the duvet. Yeah, that's it. And this is Camden. So, let's see, we've got this, we've got that, we've got that. Well, let's get the bookcase. And I'm not even going to bother picking a pattern or anything, because what I'm going to do, and this is one of the things that I feel very, uh, I really truly miss a lot. And that's the fact that in the in-house flipper one, you can't do this. And I, I never realized how much I depended on that until, oh, let's do two. One for each kid that's in this room. What else do we need? Chairs to go with that. Mm. Why aren't the chair? Oh, because these aren't seats. That's weird. Um, maybe I just missed it. do we want? There is a bookcase. Let's do one of those. Or did I do that already? Yeah, I did actually. Okay. Uh, we need chairs. Seats. Office chair. Ottoman. I, you know, the office chair is not bad. Although these are for, hmm, supposed to be for kids. Let's do the simple one. This is the colors I wanted. How oh, neat. That works. Very good. And we have the overhead. Um, what happens if I paste it there? Turns it yellow. Sure, why not? It's the moon in the sky, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll do that for now. I may add a few more things here, like, uh, well, the one thing we should get before we leave this room. We need a table lamp. We need, not one of these is anything I like. I mean, they're okay. I, I should, we should get that, I guess. Okay, cool. I think that'll do her for this room. What do you think? Remember, like I said, we're going to have at least one more um, day with this. So I definitely, oh, this is the one we still have to do. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm wondering, this is with the navy blue, well, not navy blue, the bright blue bathroom. 
this definitely should be an adult's room. So I'm thinking, well, let's see. We want we want wallpaper, not tiles. Wallpaper and you know where they got the idea for these parakeets and monkeys and it's not exactly what I would want to put on my walls. Not that they're terrible, they're just not my taste, I guess. Um, I think something a little bit, I don't know, I like that one, and I like that one. I think I'll go with this one. What do you think? I really would love it if you would tell me in the comments on this video what you think. Because it's more fun to get feedback on stuff like this. I know my friend Malsey did one one time where she said, uh, tell me which bed I, you think I should use. And that was a lot of fun. I'm not sure if it was fun for her, but it was fun for me. funny because we'll be close. Yep, I knew it. There you go. When we're done with this one, we're going to pause for a moment and decide what to go to next. I think this looks nice. I have to decide what Oh, shoot. No, you know, it's okay. We're going to do this in white. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Okay, so let's, let's just pause for a moment and get our bearings. I've been trying to not make these overly long. So I'll be right back and we will continue. Okay, this room is actually just about done, believe it or not. And this is, I imagine this to be a slightly older child's room. And actually, I put something in this room that I think I would rather have in that room. It's not too big. I don't know if you can change size of paintings after they're on the walls, but I could get through the door, I'd be in good shape. I imagine this kid playing Fallout 4. And yeah, this is actually a photograph of something I have on the shelf in my office. It's a bobblehead 
vault tech bobblehead and a lunchbox and inside the lunchbox is a booklet with images from the game this is from when the game first came out and I got the special edition something I did for the last time when I got Diablo 4 because I was so darn disappointed with the game that I don't think I'll ever pre-order anything again um, I think for now, that's it. This house basically needs a final decorations pass. And that's what we are going to do on Tuesday. Um, in case you didn't hear the story, I am down to one monitor instead of the usual two. And it, it it's funny. It makes me feel like something's really missing more than just the second monitor. It is something I've come to depend on over the years. I've had two monitors on my system since since I was working at Microsoft in 2000. So I feel really hurt, not hurt, damaged, crippled, not crippled, crippled's not a good word, um, incapable. I feel really incapable without it. It's not just a matter of being less than usually capable. It's a matter of being handicapped. That's And by handicapped, I don't mean... I can't find the right word anymore. So many words are now not considered good stuff to say. Um, when I, when I say handicapped, I mean in the sense of you've got something working against you, not in the sense of, well, you get it. I had hoped that, oh, that looks weird. Why does that look so strange? I had hoped that um, Matt and Merck would join us today, but apparently he's busy. He's been helping his... Uh, father with his father's new channel and that takes a lot of time because it's not simple little recordings like the ones I've been making it's a lot more elaborate than that so maybe Matt and Merck will come in on oh Merck you're here I'm I was here. afraid you weren't going to make here. it I'm here so would you like to see the work I did today? Yeah. We worked on the second floor today. Be a time the that audience. one you saw. I missed oh, all I was that. telling how I hoped you would be here and you weren't, but then you came in. Yeah, we we like to surprise people. This is another kids' room. Oh, another kids' room. Yeah. Can I see the first one? The first one is the one over here. Oh, I think I did kind of see oh. Yeah, I think you saw this the other day. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. I think that door... I think and then that, this I, door... Uh, uh, speaking of doors, I think hitting that door has done has done something to my brain. Oh, uh, it could be. You've done it a few t too many times, maybe. Yeah, it's, so yeah. this is another... This is a slightly older... Oh. Um, bedroom for a slightly older kid. Oh. Maybe a teenager. And uh, on the wall, we have a pit boy... Oh. No, not a pit boy. I'm sorry, no, it, a it, vault it's a, boy. It's a, well, yes. Bobblehead. A bobblehead. Right and from the game. And a lunchbox. And a lunchbox. Ah, uh, yes. I think it's. And yeah, we've got a there. little statue on the desk. Yes, of generic robot number five. Right, generic robot number five, and this is they have their own bathroom here. Wow! You can open the door so, and see someone on the toilet. Wow! Well, I let's hope even, not. Uh, that could be a embarrassing. Well, that's a story for another day. I think so. Or that's a another story to not tell anyone. Um, so mm. for today, we're cutting it here. Oh, okay. Um, oh, and I had a recommendation, which I followed yes. through on, that yes. it might look better with this light if I moved it to this end of the couch, and oh. it does seem to work a little bit better. Okay, then. Mm. So... 
I guess we're coming to that point in wow. our magical videos. Point. The magical point. And what do we always say? Batman Beyond was a really great animated series. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay, but wait, that's not what we always say. What that's we always not what say, we always what say. What we always say is, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share the video with your friends, and share the channel with your friends. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Right, and... Wait, what? We, wait, we always say something else, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, I was just going to lead into it. I want to turn this time. Uh, okay, okay, go ahead. Um... Go ahead. Chocolate, chocolate for Mark and chocolate for Allie. Yay! And chocolate and? for my friend Irene. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, a lot. I am saying yeah a lot. Yeah, you are saying yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, I'll see you. That's going to be it for today. Okay. Um, I'll see everybody again on Tuesday when we're going to actually finish up this house. We'll do a last tour through the house. I'll show you the decorations I put in. And we'll sell this property. Have a fantastic weekend. You have a fantastic weekend. And, uh, uh Merck? Uh, Mom? Mom? Yes? I'm still in the room, but Matthew left me here. Oh, uh -oh. you want to play with me? Okay. Great. Because I could use a companion. Yay! So, all right, folks. We'll see you on Tuesday. Tuesday? I love Tuesdays. Yeah, me too. Okay, bye, all. Bye!